welcome back to the channel everyone we are here to look at the toolkit once again and this time we're going to go over a bit of herd management and how we can keep track of all of our herds and what exactly the composition is this time we're going to be taking on the mouflon mission in transylvania yes we can it requires us to take out five young mouflon so we're going to be checking out a lot of the herds to find that young and on the way, we're just going to check out the composition of all the herds that we look at and then log those into our toolkit. Now, there is a different way to do predators and antler animals, and I'll go through a breakdown of that right now. So the big difference is with predators, you can't really tell by any visual aesthetic what they are or how big they are. All you can really use is your hunter sense. Now, my main example today is going to be with the brown bear. That's the best one I can use on Transylvania. And basically what you're going to want to do with any predator to try and find out if they are a lower fitness or a higher fitness animal is use that key ye predator call and basically once you spot that animal just go ahead and swap back and forth between the low and the high fitness call every once in a while just check to see if you're getting his attention now you don't want to spam these calls back to back you really want to give it some time to see if he is coming into that maybe give it about two maybe even three calls before you switch over to the other but once you do have their attention you'll be able to pretty much tell if they are a higher or lower fitness animal and then you're going to want to go into your toolkit and just keep track of that so if they're like a one star adult bear and you can attract them with a high fitness call you're probably going to want to just keep track of that in your toolkit and monitor that bear just in case it turns out to be a monster but if it's attracted to a low fitness call, you're pretty well off just going and taking that animal out of there. Now this isn't a surefire way to do every species, but what I have noticed is with the predators, it seems to be pretty spot on as most of them will come into the call they're attracted to. As with some of the antlered animals, you might not get all the lower fitness males to come into your low fitness call. With the predators, it seems to be pretty spot on with that, like I was saying. So this works for your fox, your badger, your wolf, wolves, your bears, pretty much any of the predators in this game. And then another thing I like to do is if it is a lower fitness animal and I end up shooting it, then go ahead and keep track of the genetic percentage. Just go ahead and keep track of it. Write that down as well in the toolkit. And that'll just help you to understand the overall composition of all the herds around because it does matter what's going on in that entire area for what will be spawned. And while it's not a huge effect, it does come into play, so we may as well know what's going on, right? And I pretty much use that rule for all of my last kills in that herd, and most of the time I am logging what I'm seeing, and then if I take something, I just take that out of the log. I write that gene percentage down, and then I know kind of where that's at. And between all the different star ratings and then that genetic percentage, you get a pretty good composition of each herd. And then overall, you can look at the entire area and determine where that herd's management is at. So for this Mouflon mission, we're going to do like we did with the pheasants. We're going to look at the toolkit, mark where they are, go over there, and see if we can find a young. We're going to head to the northeast corner of the map up by the Regina Mountains and we're going to hit this cabin first. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that name. But then we're going to pop back and forth between that cabin and that campsite over there. And basically just take a look at all of these herds up here and just complete the mission as we go. So let's get into this hunt. The first one we were able to snag is right outside of the cabins. And they had a perfect eating zone early in the morning. So I'm just going to head that way and see if we can snag one. And there is our first one with a nice three star as well. So that's pretty cool. And now I'm just keeping track of exactly what's in that herd. I'm going to hit the picture button and pause the game. But I know that there's a one star young, a one star adult, and a one or three star mature. So we got a one star adult, a one star young, and a three star mature. And I'm going to log those into my toolkit. Edit. And we got mature. Two, three star. Got a mature three star. An adult one star and a young one star right that's pretty much how you do it confirm for each one and then because we are going to be shooting this young um, you know you would take the young out of there
And I did edit all the boring parts out, mainly just from the shot to about 60 meters away from the claim. Alright, now let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got a high genetic or not. Nice, 52, not bad, not bad. And then for this next one, we actually went to the campsite in the Regina Mountains. And then you can see my pings down on the left there. That's where we're going to head, kind of the southeast. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. That way we can actually use this hunter sense. That's the only thing I don't quite like about it is it caps out 276, something like that. Oh, it looks like we got that. Uh, there we go. One star. One star young. They're all in one star young. But if you see anything other than a one star young, it's a bug. Let's just take a look at everything else. One star adult. And then again, that scanning issue. You just pointed right at him, but you can't get the scan. I really feel like this needs to be fixed in the next DLC. I don't know. So I can't get a scan on this guy. One star mature. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, one star mature. A one, one, one. And then we'll just log that into our toolkit as well. Pause the game, go in, find this herd, one star mature, confirm, one star adult, confirm. We'll just leave our young out of this one because we already know we're going to take him out of here. You know me though, I'm always waiting for that perfect shot, so I'm really hoping this guy is a low genetic as well let's get up here and find out they're really hard to tell mainly the best way is to tell from the spread all right not bad not bad 51 i can live with that i guess so for this next one we did have to go to the most northeastern campsite and here are my pings this is gonna be their rest time right now so let's go ahead and jump forward into the hunt i actually ended up below them here All right, and we're going to do the same thing here. We got a one star young, a one star adult, and a two star mature. So we'll go over to our toolkit. Again, find this herd. Same thing. One star, one star, one star, two star. And we're going to leave the young out because we're going to shoot him. That looked like it was a pretty good heart shot right there. I'd be surprised if I didn't get him in the heart. We'll have to check the uh, bullet cam at the end to see. Let's get up here and claim this guy. Perfect shot. Double lung and the heart. That 270 is where it's at. Okay, so for our fourth one, we actually had to go to that valley just on the other side of the mountains in the Regina Mountains and then south of the campsite we were just at. And we went to this little campsite here and there's a mouflon herd right there where my pings are. They should be right down here. Oh, there they are. Oh, two star mature. Very nice. Alright, so we got a two star mature, one star adult it looked like. Yep, one star adult. Let's see if we can find a young down here. There's a third one. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Find our herd. And log it. One star adult. Two star mature. Leave our young out because, well, that's mission material right there.
So if you are new to this game, after you take the shot, if it's at all possible, try and follow the creature you hit, because they will go down. And as you've seen right there, I just followed them, and then pinged exactly where they went down. And then another good rule of thumb is to check on them a couple times to see if they're actually down or if they're still up. Let's check this guy out and see what we got. Ooh, a 75. We gotta be a little more careful, I guess, huh? And then for our final one, we went south of the Regina campsite and found that herd down there. It was a bit of a struggle, but we did pull out the last one we needed. Alright, there they are. We got a one-star mature. A one-star mature. Okay, we got a young right there. Whew. That was close. I could have swore that one was going to be an adult. I am stoked. Alright, let's get this guy. Now, after looking at that guy for a while, I feel like he was a bigger one, mainly because of the spread. When I say spread, I mean like how far their main beams spread apart from each other. So let's see what we got here. Oh, dang. Almost 80%. He could have been a 3 easy. Gotta be careful. Sometimes uh, sacrifices have to be made for those missions. But that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you hanging out for a while and checking out the video. Leave a comment down below if you like it. Or, hey, give me some ideas if you don't. Either way, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And as always, have a good day.